Hello everyone, Psychic here, and welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. We are in Colville, Washington. We just picked up a uh, refrigerated trailer and we are going to Grand Coulee or Grand Coulee. I'm actually not quite sure how that is properly pronounced, but if you know, drop a comment down below and uh, let me know how to pronounce it. I'm, I'm still assuming it's Grand Coulee. Or Grand Coulee. Anyway, uh, we're we're headed out. Still working on getting um, all of the cities in Washington done. So it's Grand Coulee is the second to last city that I need to visit. The last one, of course, being Aberdeen uh, over on the west coast. So that means that probably next episode will be a haul from Grand Coulee to Aberdeen. But let's uh, let's get on our way, shall we? Get the parking brake off, and we're uh, we're good to go. Yeah. So I had another recording in mind before doing this one, um, which was a drop off to between two other cities in the uh, in the state of Washington. But unfortunately. Um, for whatever reason, I was I was hauling some um, some fuel tanks, and for whatever reason, right. when I went to drop it off, oh, please, Mr. Police Officer, just stay put for a while. All right. So for whatever reason, when I went to drop it off, the, the drop off point was at a gas station, which by itself is was no issue, but for whatever I don't know what it, it it seemed to have been glitching out so the actual drop-off point where I was supposed to park the tractor was actually Get ready. in the uh, in the middle of uh, one of the gas pumps uh, which caused some problems and although I'm not a, an expert in backing with trailers or anything like that I really wanted to avoid using the auto park feature uh, but at the, in the end I, I just didn't know how to actually maneuver in there because the way everything was set up so I ended up using the auto park feature which let me deliver my my freight but once everything you know the XP everything else has, had been calculated um, it put me like into the gas pump itself causing imme almost immediately 100% damage to my truck and then I mean it, it, it was basically just and then continuous loop of bad things happening because then the F7 menu wouldn't work properly so I, I couldn't click to get myself towed to a, a service station um, and at the end I had to I had to restart uh, remove a couple of mods and then go back in and I was able to actually do uh, uh, go to the service station via the F7 menu um, so yeah that was fun um, but luckily uh, it, it looking back at it now and you know in hindsight it was actually it was a uh, it was kind of funny and I'm sort of regretting that I actually scrapped the uh, the recorded material because I'm pretty sure or a blooper reel or, or something like that it would have been a lot of fun but um, it is what it is and anyway here we are on our way to Grand Coulee Coulee need to figure out how that is actually properly pronounced <clears throat> so the second to last drop here in Washington for now um, the, the next one will be longer this should be somewhat short but of course, if we we're only going 24 miles an hour, it's it's going to take some time. It's definitely going to take some time. So as I mentioned in the previous video, it's it's all part of my effort to try and rack up some Steam achievements. Not that I'm a huge stickler. Stickler. Yeah, you know, stickler. Yeah, I'm the stickler. Uh, well, not that I'm... A huge stickler for uh, Steam achievements on its own. It's I just thought, well, 
might as well open up as much as the map as possible and I mean if you can get an achievement or two while doing so I mean why not do it so um, essentially that's that's what I'm, I'm doing right now and I believe I mentioned in the last video that the next area that I'm considering finishing up would be California mostly because California is by far the state where I visited the fewest cities in which is kind of funny or ironically or ironic sorry not ironically but ironic um, since it's one of the very first states in the game um, but I have I believe I'm still missing 12 cities in, in California uh, and most of the other states it's somewhere between five and seven but we get to bypass the way station today that's that's always a good thing even though it wouldn't have mattered too much since we're going so incredibly slow here but I don't think any of my fellow truckers up in front of me are uh, going to try and overtake that combine oh uh, maybe here we go is the combine still on the... Oh, looks like we're picking up speed now. So now we can... Let her go. Let her rip. might be able to make that light and pass this guy but no oh well oh well I have also removed um, the physics mod that I usually use which kind of strange because I found out that oh in order for the mod to work properly you needed to go in and edit some of your config files and I hadn't done that and I uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine uh, called Schubert about how we both kind of agreed on the physics mod was was kind of weird it was acting real real weird but uh, as it turns out apparently none of us read the little piece of information that stated that if you want it to work 100% as intended you need to do some some editing of the config files so for now it's it's been deactivated um, I might take a look at Go straight on um, editing the, the config file just to see what is the real difference now. Um, I'm guessing, uh, because one of the things that Schubert and I were discussing was how bouncy the truck was with the physics mod. And I had some instances where, for instance, cr in, for instance just crossing a railroad would make the cab just... I mean, well, fly is a bit much, but it, it would definitely make it bounce a lot and of course cause damage and I was like wait is this because of the physics mod because then it's uh seems a little bit overpowered so yeah I don't know if I'm I'm leaning towards doing the uh the, the config edits but we'll see we'll see first and foremost I just want to get the state of Washington done visit all the different cities and uh, check that off get ready to turn left turn left okay turn left I like how the guy in front of me actually both of them are signaling to turn right there's really nowhere to go. I mean, they could go straight ahead, but where are they gonna turn off to? Nowhere, I guess. I got quite a bit of traffic here, so I'll try and keep it a little bit wide so we don't scratch anyone. Jazz Club. Go straight on and then keep right. Will do, will do. Let's 
So we're, uh, we're headed westbound towards Seattle. Also really excited for um, the 1.4 update. Watching uh, some other YouTubers play the game, the uh, 1.4 beta, and the lighting looks awesome. It, it really looks well made. So for me, I'm I'm already starting to think, oh, maybe that's that that means that we don't or we I won't have to use any uh, graphical mods. But we'll see. We will see. Alright, we're on our way. Not a lot of traffic around here, though. Let's see if we can uh, pick up some speed here and hopefully keep it. Anybody else is excited for the uh, 1.4 update? Keep right. Holler at me, holler, holler at me in the uh, in the comments there. Tell me what what you're most excited for. Exit right. Now I did see a snippet um, from a guy called Mr. German Truck. I know it it, it isn't specifically related to uh, ATS. But um, he had been doing some digging in the uh, SCS base files and actually found some rigid bodies for uh, Euro Truck Simulator. Now we know that rigid trucks have been modded in, like the box trucks and everything, have been modded in for quite some time. But according to him, his theory was that in one of the upcoming updates, um, they would be implemented as part of the game. So that's another thing to get excited about. Um, at least if you like playing Euro Truck as well. Because that has been something I know a lot of players have been wanting for a, a good number of years. And it just adds more, well, more immersion to the game, but it, it, I would dare to say also a bit more flexibility it's really starting to come into its own. I mean, not that it wasn't before. Yeah. I need to remember the merge. The merge. Alright. I don't... I doubt they'll let us pass this next way station. But, um, fingers crossed. Yep, there we go. We are not going to be allowed to pass, so uh, let's go into the way station. Oh, sorry about that. My hand inadvertently hit the uh, microphone stand. See what we're at here. Seventy-seven thousand pounds. Not too shabby. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Let's check for traffic. We've got a good spot right there. Yes, got the trailer along as well, and we're off. So 
as I mentioned in the uh, last episode, I, um, I brought back my track IR, or brought back my the, uh, the stretch, but I've had it in, uh, in a closet for, for some time uh, because I was moving some stuff around on my setup. So I just put it in there for safekeeping. I never really got around to um, hooking it back up. So I'm, I'm still trying to get used to maybe I need to tweak some some of the sensitivity options just a little bit. Um, but I am really, I'm, I'm enjoying using it again, especially in uh, the truck sims here. I'm kind of thinking that this coming weekend I might get into a little bit of um, bus simulator once again. And of course, uh, making sure that the track IR works in there as well. So who knows? Uh, maybe sometime early next week, it's going to be a couple of episodes of uh, Bus Simulator. It's definitely going to be that or um, some of the uh, quote-unquote usual stuff, which would be... Lumberjack's Dynasty or Rant's Simulator, which I've found quite enjoyable so far. Um, the only thing is, though, but it's the devs have kind of come out and said that already is that oh, there aren't really there's what 11 quests to begin with, and most of them are I would call them almost tutorial like. Um, so once they're done. There's not too much to do in, in terms of trying to build stuff, etc, etc, but I mean, you can still you can still go around making money off of hunting or your chicken coop. But the roadmap, the roadmap that the uh, that the devs sent out uh, a while back looks looks cool. They have some they have some pretty cool plans for, for the future development of that game. road going to where we're headed but it's a beautiful scenery it's a beautiful scenery indeed get ready to turn right now uh, speaking of SCS rumors I also read somewhere that SCS right. supposedly are going to um, make the game multiplayer. Not in the same way as uh, Truckers MP, but but in the um, a lobby-oriented system where you can invite friends to join you. And I guess then you can do convoys or... Well, actually, I don't know if you can... I'm <clears throat> sorry, kind of go off and do your own thing. But, um, I like that. I mean, Truckers MP have done a, a great job with, with, with what they're doing and the amount of players that are able to be on a server at any given time. I mean, that's that's just awesome. I will say this, though. If, if the rumors are true uh, about what SCS is contemplating, I mean, that's, that's just going to knock it out of the park for me. Being able to play some of your friends, and, and in my case, hopefully members of the Bad Brokers Club, um, and actually having AI vehicles in there still producing that ambience, that little tad of immersion. Um, the one thing I'm very curious about is, though, is is it going to support mods, or is it just, or just quote unquote, just is it is it just going to be DLC stuff. Keep right, and then continue straight on. But I haven't been able to dig up a lot of information about it yet, um, so I am uh, I'm intrigued as to whether there's any truth to the Go rumor or um, it's it's just one of those things where yeah we're we're thinking about it, but don't expect anything to happen 
for the uh, foreseeable future. It's like a water pipe burst over here on our left hand side. Yep. Discovered a new viewpoint. Not bad. Wow, well, this is a great view. We'll uh, we'll have to take a look at that at a uh, later given time here. As we, I don't know, are we about to cross the bridge? No, it doesn't seem like it. beautiful view over there. Well done, SCS. Well done. Get ready to turn right. All right. I'm hoping that this episode uh I'll be able to back up with the trailer. Right. A little more efforts, effortlessly than I did in the uh, in the previous episode because that was that was just garbage. Well, we did get to cross a bridge, um, but I I originally thought that we might cross via the dam. Our, our turn is coming up right up here on our left. Turn left and then turn right. Okay. Going to the supermarket with some beverages. Where do they right. want us? Probably over at our usual delivery point. Let's put our flashes on here. Take it nice and slow as we head in. Plenty of space. Oh. Oh, we're not going to the usual spot. All right. Let's see if we can sneak in here without having to back up. back up just a little bit. Let's straighten straighten this bad boy out. Looks to be about there. Switch on over. Not the best parking, I will say that. All right, there we go. Unhitch. All right. There we go. There we go. And on that note, I am going to end this episode. If you like what you saw, give a thumbs up. And uh, if you have made it this far in the video, consider subscribing. For now, this has been Sidekicks. Thank you very much for watching.